That's a Canadian goose there, guys. You can tell it's a Canadian goose by the way it is. But that has nothing to do with today's video. Taking the gosh dang Silverado out on a fishing trip. We have one quick pit stop before we do that. Woo, heck yeah, bud. As a Canadian, who actually plays this roll up the rim on their phone? I miss the old pre-COVID days, giving them a saliva lick tab when you want a free coffee. Kind of gross when you think about it. Hey, good morning. Uh, could I get a scone? Good. Cash, please. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Okay, now that we finally got the essentials for this trip, let's get let's get on the road. Let's get trucking. I'm stuck. Let's see if my floor mat can get me out of this. Wedge them underneath your tires. <laughs> we're unstuck. Let's just quickly go over the lures that we're using today and the rod and reel setup, of course. I have the Frostbite Royal Flush paired with a Fluger Monarch with four pound monofilament line. It's a little fish, it doesn't matter. I like the light action of the rod. Ultralight's better for perch, but I mean, the frostbite rods are super sensitive. You're gonna feel it no matter what. And also what we got tied onto the line is a frostbite dinner bill, kind of like a drop shot rig and a size two octopus. I know that's a little large, but I wanna keep the little guys off. And basically they see the shiny thing and then they go up to the top hook and take the top hook. Sometimes that spoon is just a little bit too much, but that subtle presentation up above is what really gets them. So let's go fishing. I almost needed my extension. This is thick. You know what, I actually scratch that. I was gonna target perch, I cannot get a perch to bite. But I have figured out something and I'm catching pike. The rod I'm using is the True Grit, paired with the Fluger Monarch with just some 10 pound Power Pro. The lure I'm using is good old Fire Tiger Tantrum. It's my favorite lure actually. I've caught my most most fish this winter on that lure. By the way, I'm gonna seem like I'm so because I've had a tough day. Been fishing for four hard hours. This happened. Here goes nothing. We're throwing the rattle bait down now. And you can really see this one. Just rocketed up to me. Is that a pike? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I just got hit. What the heck? What is going on? What kind of world am I living in? What alternate universe is this? What is going on? Like, look at this. They're gonna come hit. Got it. It's not very big, but watch, it'd be a tank perch. Look at that, just hammering it. Just hammering it. You know what, the pike like this, kids. It's not good for you. But I went bass fishing once, so I can do this. Ow, you hurting me, you son of a gun. Hey man, if you just open your mouth, I can get that hook out of there. I mean, it's not a tank, but it's just, I was like, instant. Stupid. Oh well. Okay, here we go, here comes another one. This is stupid. This is so stupid. What the heck? Oh my goodness. I wonder if I could just hammer these slime balls all day. That is a little thicker. Hey man. You got a little bit sharper teeth than your brother there. You gotta open up your mouth. You gotta let me perform a little bit of surgery here, man. You know, let's get a quick little measurement on this guy. He's big and little. He's 63, 64. You're gonna come home with me. You're gonna be dinner. 
perfect little keeper there. Yeah, I apologize for this fish. Um, thank you for your sacrifices. Um, you cut my thumb open pretty good, but that was mostly my fault. Well, that rule that they taught you. Number three, don't put your finger pecker. You wouldn't put your pecker. Well, I'm not that smart. Thanks for your sacrifice, man. Woo! Gonna do another drop and catch another fish. That's how fire this bait is. So I kind of have an idea here. An idea. We got some perch here. They weren't feeding earlier, but now they seem a little bit more aggressive. Maybe the trick here, because like, that's kind of what I do here in the summer. I cast out, I attract them with my big bait, and then I get them with my little one. So maybe fishing for pike and perch at the same time. Let's just see how well this works. What a weird technique. I just decided to drop down just a plain tungsten jig. I think maybe all that stuff on there was too busy. Too much for the fish to hone on on. Too much. Too bedazzled. Too crazy, man. There's so much, so many fish down there right now. A giant school of them. Oh my gosh. Guys, I did it. I caught a perch. I caught a perch. I caught a perch! Oh my goodness, this is my greatest accomplishment that I've ever had. This is the biggest perch I've ever caught. Oh my gosh. I'm basically a god. Look at that guy. He is an absolute hog. Maybe a future one. Let's take this hook out of you. Thank you, friend, for coming along. Whoop. Be cool in a fish tank. Too bad that's all legal in Canada. Can you get permits for that? Let's see if we can get something a little bigger this time. They're eating now. What the heck? What's going on? What changed? Come and eat. There we go. This one's a little nicer. This one's a little nicer. I might get a fillet off him. Yeah, getting kept. Okay. Try this hole. Wow, there's fish there too. There we go, another one. Dinner, just a minnow dale and a pink tungsten. Let's get back down there. Might just have to move around. Whole hop, 30 feet that way, 30 feet this way. This is all it takes. I think I just figured out what they want. Oh, I missed them. Drop it down and slowly retrieve it up. Gotta watch the tip for bites. Got one, this one feels Way, uh, not way nicer, but it feels nice. Another keeper. Here we go. Two weeks up catching him. Time to move to the first hole that I caught the first perch at. There we go. Fish on. This one feels like it's actually big. Oh, that's the biggest one of the day. Wow. Look how we absolutely hammered that. Not a bad fish. Biggest fish of the day. Hopefully they just keep getting bigger. To the meat pile. That guy can go back. He's a little small. They're getting aggressive though. Oh, that guy, he wants it. I wonder if this is the exact same fish. Oh, no. He's a little bit bigger. Keep him. One, two, three, four, it's five. Five more to go. There we go. You can go back. There you go. That's a, oh, that's a nice one. That one actually has shoulders. Woo! <laughs> nice, beautiful perch, man. Oh, that's a nice perch. That's a big one. That's a big one. I think it's a pike. Unless it's just an absolute hog. That's a pike. Imagine catching a perch that big. Good show. Nice healthy looking fish. It's a good sign of a good fishery. Healthy fishery. Check your line before you catch a pike. Make sure there's no nicks. Oh, look at him going straight to the bottom. What is following me? Ah, oh, dear. That's definitely a pike. Got him. He is all wrapped. Ow, 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 there's the fish, there's the hook, in my hand, go home buddy.
You guys got to see this sunset. It is absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, let's cut to the chase. Let's get to the point. I drilled about 20 holes today. I don't think I would have found perch if I only drilled four. Or maybe if I only drilled 10. You gotta drill holes, you gotta go find the fish. I almost gave up on perch today. I'm glad I didn't. My hands are all beat up. I had a great day of fishing. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you guys uh, do the whole thing with the like, comment, subscribe thing. It's basically one word now. And uh, perhaps I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for getting through this whole truck thing, but there's still gonna be more truck videos. Peace.